All right, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan calling a news conference today and at the top of his list of concerns, money and how much the state could be spending. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell explains. For the first nine weeks of the Maryland legislative session, Governor Larry Hogan has been fairly quiet. No more. Today, calling a press conference to blast the Democrat-controlled General Assembly for backing bills that Hogan says could cost taxpayers $7,000 each in new taxes. This is exactly the kind of reckless, unsustainable, and irresponsible behavior that we have been working so hard to reverse. Hogan pointing to a new education formula. We've reported on it. Last week, 8,000 teachers marching on Annapolis in support of an immediate boost in school funding of more than 200 million and nearly 40 billion over the next 10 years. Hogan now says schools are already well-funded and he has seen no proof more money will help students. It is outrageous pandering to special interest groups while being completely dishonest with parents, teachers, students, and taxpayers. Hogan is referring to the Teachers Union, the Maryland State Education Association, which paid for last week's march. That organization's legislative officer says Hogan is just wrong. We need the governor to get in the game, get serious about solving the problem, and not just uh, take his, his uh, political shots in a press conference. In his wide-ranging press conference, Governor Hogan also coming out against the proposed $15 an hour minimum wage. He says it could cost Maryland 99,000 jobs. He's threatening a veto. In Annapolis, Brad Bell, EBC 7 News.